Arxan is now digital.ai. Join us at our booth in the virtual expo hall to learn how our app protection, white box cryptography, and threat analytics solutions can help you stay ahead of the evolving threat landscape. Hi everyone, I'm extremely blessed and privileged to be part of OWASP APSEC Global Conference to present on the topic Insider Threat Detection and Automation by Behavior Analytics. Myself, Hima, I'm core and founding member for CyberSci, which is a global community to empower and motivate to get more professionals into cyber security, cyber psychology, and cyber forensics and cyber analytics. Forensic Hima is my Twitter and LinkedIn ID. Please feel free to follow. We have YouTube channel where we are trying to create awareness on cyber security and cyber forensics. Do subscribe. That will help you to gain the knowledge. We also have a Facebook group um, to share the knowledge on the upcoming uh, cyber security cases. I'm a global speaker and uh, recognized as Lady Legend in 2018, MVP awardee for multiple years, and also ambassador at DevOps Institute and Women Tech NATO. The views and opinions expressed here are my personal and do not reflect my employer opinion. This is voluntary talk to contribute to the community. John was an employee in CyberSide. When he resigned his job, his behavior was so suspicious. There were multiple uploads and downloads from his account. There were also suspicious login accounts in um, different geographical locations. Now let's see how the insider threat detection techniques using user behavior analytics helped to detect uh, and send alert to the security management uh, team. In this talk, we are going to learn about what is insider threat detection, need for the threat detection, how the behavioral analytics works, types of threats and use cases, what user behavioral analytics can do, and how do we automate this will help in detecting the right threats by following the Insider threat detection is risk by insiders who are within the organization that is by employee or a contractor like sensitive data theft, misuse of the access privileges or fraudulent activity that puts the organization reputation at risk. It is nothing but the capability to detect potential insider threats based on defined risky user activity. The insider's behavior can be malicious or normal or ignorant that can intensify the potential impact to the organization that might cause monetary or reputational We need insider threat detection. Why? To notify the right people and provide data to help cybersecurity teams take the best possible course of action. And also proactively maximizing the ability to stop incidents from occurring or mitigating the risk from getting worse. Too many false alarms if we have also, then it is a showstopper to detect insider threats. Because a false security alarm may result in short term or more loss of availability. So it is very important to have a reliable insider threat detection because loss of availability could result in employees not being able to have access to system or 
do their jobs effectively at the need of the hour. Maybe this can lead to higher cost or lost revenue and reputational damage as well. Who are the types of insiders? They are the people present within the organization or maybe a somebody guest who came organization but accessing your Wi-Fi data. It might be careless workers who does um, all careless mischiefs by unknowingly and they can be insider agents and they can be disgruntled employees or um, people who resign, malicious insiders. These are no, wantedly they do it. Third party users. And this 71% of inadvertent data breach or leak. Because of the careless user causing accidental breach. 65% negligent data breach because user willingfully ignoring policy but not malicious and 60% are malicious data breach user willingfully causing harm for the enterprise or the organization. Some of the abnormal user behaviors are Sending sensitive data to wrong email IDs. Frequent uploads of the large data uploads or downloads, just like John did. Too many emails they send with quantity of attachments. And maybe a combination of such anomalies detected as violation. Inserting infected USB disk. Performing unauthorized system access, taking others' credentials, detecting or deleting, editing confidential information, sharing data over unsecured public mediums, connecting to organizational critical data sources via public Wi Fi, repeated access for an unauthorized data and also experiencing multiple login locations in 5 to 10 minutes which is an abnormal behavior for the user and it is very important to detect this insider threat detecting or eliminating an insider threat is nothing but analyzing the user behavior and knowing what to look for across the enterprise that could indicate malicious insider activity. To name few, indicators of audit log tampering, suspicious commands executed, account sharing or authentication anomalies, self escalation of privileges and avoidance of What is UEBA? user entity behavior analytics if you look at this slide here user and behavior is getting intersected that is where the threat is so ubea is analytics data analytics driven threat detection technology that uses machine learning and data science to understand how insiders or employees within and corporate behave this actually helps to find out risky or any suspicious activity that deviates from a normal daily baseline activities and uh, uh, automated system uh, also gives risk score based on the amount of deviation also the type of behavior of the user that might be a threat so higher the risk score so it is um, critical for us to fix the risk and there are many anomaly algorithms 
supervised learning or unsupervised learning machine learning techniques to baseline normal activity or used and also uh, this has been proved to be a successful um, uh, model in detecting notorious insider threat behaviors coming to the different anomalies um, example for logins that can be after our logins um, or uh, logins on users pc or at the same time if they have logins on others pc login duration time login frequency these are the parameters used in the algorithms and for files file activities time of the day file created date copied moved written renamed or deleted dates for database activities um, which data items were accessed were, it, were there any modifications made what time they were accessed etc for http web server logs um, uh, from from web server logs we can get whether the website is encrypted or browser information history keywords uh, in uh, multiple browsers for removable devices um, from the event logs we can get device name and type they are logged with usage code time of the day activity code etc for the email, email transaction logs is a source to get this information. Um, and we can get the source and destination of the email, email traffic and the communication patterns. In case of mobile calls, it is source and destination of the mobile calls and duration and time of calls, communication patterns. For the print activity logs, it can be the ID activity code time of day, name of document printed, and the number of copies printed. And the TCP IP workflows uh, logs, it is the source and destination of IP packets on a TCP IP network, the size of traffic sent over the connections, the average duration of connections, positive and failed events from different IP addresses, and time difference between the IP events is calculated for the algorithm. Now, how these anomalies can be detected? As we have seen in the example of the John, John is uploading huge volumes of the documents, which is a suspicious activity that can be detected by volumetric analysis, which is um, uh, similar to behavior anomaly, where it detects deviations from normal behavior in terms of size or volume that means when an employee moves or uploads large volumes of data as compared to their past behavior then auto notification will be triggered and there is also pair based anomaly detection now let's see some statistics Pharmaceutical or life sciences takes the highest precedence for insider threats, which is in this domain, there are 28.3% of insider threats that were detected as per the latest report. And banks and financial organizations, it is 27.7%, almost same as a medical or life sciences. And information technology, it is 13. 2%. Oil, gas and utilities, it is 10.7%. In telecommunications, it is 8.2%. And manufacturing, it is 6.3%. Healthcare, it is 5%. And rest or um, retail services. Out of all these domains, most of the threat is 62% data theft is happening everywhere and the second one with 90 percent which is privileged account misuse and 9.5 percent is data aggregation or snooping this helps to analyze where exactly we need to focus as enterprise organizations 
Going to the use cases, there are multiple login failures to cloud collaboration applications from seven to nine countries within a seven day time frame. This happened for a multinational company, which is a suspicious activity that um, uh, can be detected using user behavior analytics. Um, this is an insider threat. And also there are multiple cases in misuse of a service account. <coughs> it happened for a famous hotel. And uh, there are um, insiders found logging in from two rare countries, indicating a compromised account. That means uh, their accounts got hacked or they would have shared their credentials to somebody. And there is geolocation based violations where a service account was log used in to log into critical business application using two different source addresses from different countries, say India and China within an hour. And we all know, right, the, re the famous recent Twitter hack happened a couple of months back, a massive security incident that affected um, some of the famous celebrities who has millions of followers. <clears throat> this is an insider attack targeted some of the Twitter employees with access to internal systems and tools. <clears throat> it's the humans that are being compromised by hackers of unknowingly due to the careless behavior and one trick game. Twitter would have used the user behavior analytics technology <coughs> that would have helped <coughs> in detecting this case of insider behavior by alarming the system tricks based on multiple behavioral pattern and sending the notifications to the system automatically. And this automating uh, the risk notifications we use certain patterns using machine learning and data science techniques for the risk score. <coughs> and the other use cases can be identity theft for um, your PIA information or bank account information can be get compromised by the internal bank employees and that can be used for some other purpose, even in medical cases also. Uh, he, somebody might be impersonating you or taking your insurance uh, claims and all. And there are a lot of banking and credit card fraud. Uh, fraudsters can steal your card account numbers and PIN numbers and security codes to make unauthorized transactions. Um, and they often steal your PII data as well, right? So it is very important as an insider to protect this information and if such suspicious activities are done um, to actually detect them. Now, how does this data detects using the models for insider threat detection? So these are the commonly used models. The clustering algorithm is regression based or most commonly used. And there are individual behavioral models where we train the model based on the data and the behavioral patterns and community behavioral patterns, which is another interesting subject, which is out of the scope for this talk. And there are resource usage model patterns, the capacity models patterns and mixed system patterns. These are the three pillars of UEPA. Data analytics, data integration. Third one is data presentation. Coming to data analytics, it uses data on the normal behavior of the users and entities to build a profile of how they normally act. Here, we can apply statistical models in order to detect unusual behavior and alert the system administrator. Second is a data integration. That means UB, UEBA systems are able to compare data from various sources such as logs, capture data, 
and uh, other data sets with existing security systems. And the data presentation is a third one, is a process through which behavioral analytical systems communicate their findings. And um, this is done via issuing a request or sending a notification to a security lead to investigate the unusual behavior and its root cause. One thing any insider attack has in common is that they are unpredictable. That's why technology comes into picture here. Some people think that security is all about human behavior. Yes, but technology can be applied to human behavior. Then that can be utilized in the right way. If an employee starts downloading unusual large number of files similar to the one John did, the right situation with behavioral analytics can flag that activity so that your security team can investigate further, which would have done in Twitter attack. And due to the COVID-19, what did it taught us overnight? We got connected um, and our kids are attending online classes. Going forward, more employees work remotely and it is all work from anywhere. So it's even more important for the organizations to find a way to monitor what's happening on the servers 24 by 7. So that will be happening using user behavioral analytics. And these are some of the with my session. Humans are the weakest links in chain. People are the target. If utilized in right manner using proper machine learning techniques, this is worth for enterprises to invest on behavioral analytics opposed to traditional detection techniques. This helps to shield the enterprises from insider threats. Hope enterprises would see the benefit of it and become adopted to it. So in summary, today we have learned what is insider threat detection, how to detect based on user behavior, why it is important, and also the need for automating insider threat detection and automation by behavioral analytics, and how UEBA benefit enterprise security teams. Thank you. Proactive user behavioral analytics detect insider threats be vigilant, be cautious, and be watchful. Thank you. This is my Twitter ID, and these are our LinkedIn uh, profile.